And I mean, I've been there, I graduated. And if I would have had that advice back when I graduated, I think it really would have helped me because I didn't have a job lined up. And as soon as I graduated, I was still working my, you know, my college jobs. And then I was interviewing. And then once I started at my, at my new job, it took me a couple of months to get a job. Then I was just go, 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 go. And not really focusing on those those little things that I needed to take care of to make sure I wasn't getting burnt out because you will get burnt out. So remembering that it's exciting transition and it's scary and it's fun and you're, you're getting ready to go into this new chapter of your life, but don't forget to take care of yourself and just do those little things every day to make sure that you're going to be able to get up the next day and, and keep going and not get burnt out. No, I definitely feel that. I feel like it's like, it's almost like a balance of, being prepared for the future, but like staying in the moment. Like, I understand what you mean as far as just the whole bit about, you know, not having a job lined up after college. And that's part of it because you're too in the moment and you're like, I'm just trying to get out of school. Like I need to pass this class and that class and that class. And you, whether you stress yourself out or not, you're so like focused on the task at hand that like you don't realize that you still have so much, you know, more to worry about. So I definitely think that happens, uh, you know, to a lot of people. Well, that first job you get, that's when you are, you already start talking about saving for your retirement and doing this. And we're constantly looking ahead into the future, which is great. It's not bad to plan, but the plan that you have when you graduate college in 10 years, that's probably going to be a little bit different. It's, it's yeah. not always going to go as planned. So I like what you said, you know, remembering to live in the moment. Planning is great. Having, you know, looking ahead in the future is wonderful, but don't forget to live in the moment, live in the present, enjoy where you're at in life. No, I, I can, I can definitely agree. I, I don't know what the correct saying is. I hope I don't butcher this, but I know my uh, mentor, he tells me like, yes, you want to always apply pressure and, you know, work hard, but sometimes when you get certain wins in life, it's okay to look in your rear view mirror. Like, it's okay to like, take a second, stop and like, oh, wow. Like I just did that. Like that wasn't easy. Like it could be simple as like graduating college or, you know, getting your first job. Me is writing my first book. Like it's okay to just be like, oh, wow. Like I did that. Celebrate those successes. Absolutely. Celebrate them. Pause. Enjoy it. Be proud of yourself and stop always looking at what's next, what's next, what's next, and just and live in that moment. It's very important.